Good old malware bytes. Malware bytes blocking Google.com fix. Actually, it's not just Google.com website that malware bytes is blocking. And I'll just be honest and blunt and upfront. I w would never recommend malware bytes, and I'm not going to go off into that history that I've had with that company. And they're just I would not would not use that software. However, if you do use malware bytes, and that was not a tip, and I'm not telling you what to do. What you can do is, as stipulated on their Twitter. Now, they were aware of a temporary problemo with the web filtering component <laughs> of their product that may be blocking certain website domains, and one of those website domains just happened to include Google.com. At that time, they claimed that they were working on a fix and that they would provide more information on their Twitter. So you can browse to twitter.com slash malwarebytes. Now, in the future, if a similar event or basically the same event occurs, all you have to do is follow the tips in this video. Before they provided a permanent, well, I wouldn't call it permanent, but a more permanent fix, their advice and the tip is to just disable it. So when in doubt, all of a sudden, you cannot access certain websites. It could be your malware, spyware, and or virus software that's blocking those websites. It could also be your firewall, but if it all of a sudden just started occurring, chances are it's some kind of real-time scanning software that is blocking. So all you do is temporarily disable the web protection. Now here's how you disable web protection in Malwarebytes. Obviously you want to open up Malwarebytes software then you select real-time protection which is a card that's located on the lower right that could change into the future in the future yeah these companies they change their interfaces for their software in the future just look for real-time protection and then turn it off and then so, so look for web protection and there's a toggle button or a toggle switch toggle off web protection so basically what you're doing is disabling malware bytes which is probably a good idea <laughs> here's a tip permanently disable malware bytes they that company has a track record did you know and I don't want to go off into it. it it is personal I used to sell malware bytes as an affiliate and they were so awful as a company that I no longer, and I still do not, sell Malwarebytes as an affiliate, and I never will. There were three major problems with Malwarebytes that, that just really, really pissed me off. Okay, which I'm not going to go off into because that would be, take too long to describe. If you're curious, you can browse to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash anetcomputers. On my channel in the search tool search for malware bytes and you'll find some videos and you'll learn more about my personal experiences my horrible experiences with malware bytes okay now they have now included a newer update and they claim that that problem problemo has been resolved okay this is a major problem with these companies. They, they, they are not transparent. They don't tell you what caused that. There is no root cause analysis. And therefore, you never learn anything. What caused that? Was it an update? Was it a database update? Malwarebytes is a real-time scanning tool, which means that it runs in the background on your computer and it scans and looks for malware and I don't know if it I don't think it scans for viruses but I think it does scan for malware and spyware which are similar but they're not the same perhaps some kind of strange paradox well what was it was it an update was it a now these pieces of software 
that scan and try to protect your computer from malware and spyware and even viruses, they have a database and they should be updated. So here's an additional tip. Always update your software because a lot of times every day there's an update. Almost every day there could be. What happens is that new malware, new spyware, new viruses are found and then though then the, the developers have to program their software to detect it and you know block it or put it in timeout or remove it or whatever. Uh, quarantine. Quarantine. Well if those new malware, spyware, viruses are not included in your database then that's when you can get infected. I don't understand how it's possible that some domain, domains were blocked and they don't tell you why or how or when. Very strange to me, man. This company is very strange, man. Okay. Now, what your ultimate solution is to make sure that that software is updated. Well, well th this makes no. If you are still experiencing issues, please ensure the malware by its client is updated. Well, duh. <laughs> well, duh. Of course, you have to update their software because there was something, some more, something in the software that caused certain website domains to become blocked. And one of them is Google.com, which is the world's largest search engine. They made a change somewhere. Maybe on their network or their or their database or in the, on the software. Well, duh. If if all of a sudden you could browse Google.com yesterday, and then all of a sudden today you cannot, and then you traced it back to Malwarebytes. Well, obviously it was a change that they made that they refused to admit. Okay, so all you have to do is make sure that Malwarebytes is updated. I think Malwarebytes has automatic updates. The automatic update should work, and then maybe 10 years from now, I mean, once that update is installed, then you should be able to browse Google.com. If you're still not able to browse Google.com, you can check updates in Malwarebytes. I'm at the 8-minute mark, so I need to run. And then make sure that the software is updated, or you, you can ma manually check for updates, Okay. And then that, that should fix your issue. Yeah, what a nightmare. Yeah, Malwarebytes company is a nightmare. And if you're offended by me criticizing them, then you do not know my track record. I hadn't just... Here, I'll be blunt really quickly. This is overtime. Malwarebytes falsely had one of my videos removed claiming that it was copyright. That was a lie. I did not violate copyright. And YouTube conspired. See, I think YouTube, I don't know if they still perpetrate it, but back in the day they did. YouTube has been and, I, and may still violate the 1976 Digital Millennium Copyright Act. I read the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Whenever you are accused of copyright violation, you get your day in court. That is supposed to be settled in front of a judge in a court. Well, YouTube, no. They don't follow the 1976 Digital Millennium Copyright Act. They, what they do is they allow companies like Malwarebytes and other companies to, to flag your video as a copyright violation. And then your video gets pulled, it gets removed, and then you receive a copyright strike. Well, wait a minute. There was no decision made by a judge in a court of law. And that was just one reason why I am pissed off at Malwarebytes. Okay. That is, and then the tips I gave you in this video could use, be used for any other scenario. When it comes to all of a sudden being able to browse the internet, and then all of a sudden, oh, I can't access Google.com or I can't access YouTube.com, which may be a good thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It may or may not, depending on your opinion of these companies. Well, you can always check any virus, malware, spyware software 
that you use to help protect your computer. I use Linux. I never have those problems. I think there was one recorded history of a virus on Linux. One. Ever. One time. Ever. And I'm not making that up. Although I haven't studied that in like five years or ten, whenever. Whatever. So maybe there's been two viruses ever found. You know what I'm saying. Malware bytes blocking Google.com fix. And you can use that tip for other software. It's not just necessarily malware bytes. And in the future, if there is another problem with malware bytes blocking maybe all websites or certain websites, number one, if you need to access those websites, disable the web, the real time or you know the web service. Or just disable the entire software and then you know blah 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 adios